hello there, um, it's Nick here again and in this session I'm going to be telling you about uh, how to use data validation to prevent your users from creating duplicate entries in a specific area of your spreadsheet. Now you might use this for example if you need to create a customer ID on the fly as you add new customers to a list. In this example we want to use the first three letters of a customer's name followed by a three digit number e.g. Donna Coat would become DON001. The problem comes when you have another customer with the same first three letters, e.g. Donna Kebab, who would then need to become DON002. So how do we go about doing this? Well, we'll assume that the customer ID will go into column A. And we already have a few customers set up that we need to create IDs for. We're going to use data validation and a count if formula to help us with this. The formula will look in the column and count the number of times an ID appears. And if you try to input the data, the uh, customer ID more than once in the column, then it will come up with an error message um, that will tell you you need to change it. So here goes. First of all, we're going to select all of column A. So I'll just click on column A because that's where all of the um, validation rules need to be applied to. I go to the data tab at the top of the screen and then from there the data tools group and there's data validation and data validation. In here I'm going to set my data validation rule. At the moment it's set to allow any value but I'm going to set up a custom rule. So click on here and choose custom. And I have a formula box appear, and I'm going to type in my countif formula in there. So I'm going to type it in equals countif and open up a bracket. And I want it to look in column A, so I select all of column A, comma, and I want it to use the um, current cell that we're typing into, so I'm going to select. Column A, uh, sorry, cell A1. Close the bracket. And that needs to equal 1. What this means is that if the count of that particular value already equals 1, then it will flag up with an error message. So now I need to put in my error alert message. So I click on error alert. And you can see I've already added this in. I've basically turned it into a stop style message. So it will have this symbol and I've put in a title, duplicate customer ID, and I've put in an error message um, to tell the user that they need to change the uh, ID. So I click OK, and there you go. That's the error message sorted out. So let's just test this out. If I go to cell A2, we've got Annette Curtin. The customer ID for her would be ANN001. Yep, that's fine. Merry Christmas would be MAR001. Yep, that's fine too. Donna Coat, D O N001. Yep, that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to go down now to Donna Kebab. And Donna Kebab, I'll try putting in the, the uh, same ID again. So D O N001. And bang, comes up with an error message there that I've typed in and it allows me to retry. So I'll retry that. DON002 and it accepts it this time. So there you go. That's all there is to using data validation to prevent your users from creating duplicate entries in specific areas of your spreadsheet. If you have a little look at this, um, it shows you the dialog box you need to go to and the formula that you'd need to use. So thanks very much for your time and I hope to see you again very soon.